live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my update that I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest stuff. Hello, my name is Jerome Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. How y'all doing on this uh, gloomy uh, Wednesday um, uh, uh, noon or afternoon, I guess? But you know, anyways, um, the topic uh, I'm going to talk about today is. Um, with uh, the difference between real graphic designers and fake graphic designers because the reason I need to urgently talk about this topic is because uh, you know I have seen countless posts of people getting scammed over the internet give us us the real graphic designers a bad rap and a bad name and to me it's not very fair for us and what that means is when other graphic designers don't give them their product or scam people, it just puts us at risk of not getting paid because we have to obviously create the product before we even get paid. And to me, it's not very fair for us. And sometimes the customers will take the product, block us, and you know they will never pay us. So that would really upset me. And um, also when you know. I've seen all these other, you know, fake graphic designers, you know, taking people's work and all that stuff. I did my research on Facebook, you know, and, you know, I can tell between real graphic designers and fake graphic designers because, you know, a real graphic designer has a long history of work, like, say, for five years' work, ten years' work, and all that stuff. And, you know, I know a lot of graphic designers that has been in the game for more than 20 years, and for me, I just had, you know, five years experience and I'm still getting good at it but I'm still learning I'm still you know wanting to you know push out new services you know like such as comic book design like I recently seen you know cap and gown designs you know uh, like I said you know I can uh, do mock-ups and all that stuff and all this and you know I can do uh, logo mock-ups on shirts as well you know I'm just getting to learn about that and you know to me, like, doing logo mock-ups on shirts doesn't seem that bad to me. In fact, you know, it's kind of fun, you know, just playing around with the logo on different kinds of apparel and stuff, you know. Remember one time that, you know, I did try to release a, you know, franchise of my business, like selling mugs, cups, and all that stuff, put it on my logo on shirts and stuff, but that never worked out because, you know, I never, you know, had the funds for, you know, to print out many shirts or I can't find the resources or people to do them for me so you know um, the closest I can get the last time I researched is China you know like it takes a lot of effort a lot of money to you know ship these mugs you know and um, and to be honest like I did my logo on one of these mugs you know I mean take it back that one of my videos two years ago when you know I uh, showed up my mug and stuff and show you all my designs and you know it turned out pretty good but you know it's kind of expensive and people been telling me I could get it for much less and sell it faster so you know yeah so I'm trying you know to uh, figure out that cycle and all that stuff trying to you know figure out what to do next on that expertise but anyways um in other news that you know what I can tell you that is you know I can show you how to tell when a graphic designer is not real he's a legit scammer and he just takes your money and you know he never responds so um here's an example now this is the one of uh, one of the profile profiles that i stumbled on and of course you know what really angers me is that even one of the graphic designers can even comment on my page on my post and say do you need a logo for like something 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 and i can do mixtapes and all that stuff and i keep telling them that please get on my page Please do not comment on my page. Please do not piggyback on my page. Like, seriously. You obviously see that I am a graphic designer as well. So, what is so hard that you do not know or cannot see that I am a graphic designer? I mean, what is so hard about that? All you have to do is look at the post. Really. I mean, piggybacking is not cool, man. I mean, like, to be honest, I mean, when I started the game, you know, I don't know what I was doing in graphic design. But, you know. Anyways, but seriously. I've been, I've been in the game so long, I know when to tell that is not a real graphic designer. Because they'll go ahead and comment on your post, trying to steal your business, you know. Even though you are saying that you're a legit graphic designer, they just can go 
ahead and post on your page and say that, you know, I can do this and do this and do this and do this. And, you know, even though you tell them to stop, they say, oh, my bad, I'm apologizing. And they even message me, they tell me the same thing, they can do this, they can design my logo and all that stuff. And I told them the same thing, please stop writing me. And they say, my bad, bro. And then, you know, I came across one of my um, followers on Instagram. And I still had the screenshot. And, you know, there's this lady saying, um, well, you know, she wasn't interested in the logo. And there was this guy um, wrote her saying, do you need a logo done? And she said no. And then she dropped the price down lower. I can do it for $20. And she keeps declining, and she keeps saying no. And then all of a sudden, he got mad, and he told her to go die. So, yeah, that's very, that's very effed up. But you know, it still angers me that people still do this. You know, just you know, put a bad dent on other graphic designers. I mean, 2020 is not a good year for us. First, we had a coronavirus, police hating on us, and now, now we have graphic designers trying to tarnish our brands. I mean, fake graphic designers, that is. I mean, of course, legit graphic designers will always respond no matter what. And, you know, and to me, myself, I mean, I'm getting good business out of it. You know, and I wouldn't never post this video if this trend hasn't been going on. Like, people, you know, stealing your work, you know, people scamming other people, people scamming black businesses, and all that, trying to get started on the right foot. I mean, you know, that's really upsetting me, but, you know, I'm. To me, I am trying my hardest, you know, trying to get these products out, you know, and um, most of my time, you know, I be um, out somewhere doing my work and all that stuff, and really, people, you know, like, you know, people sometimes can be rushed and stuff, rush you and, you know, trying to change this and all that, and, you know, say, and uh, they have um, several sayings they can say no, and how to tell when people say no, when you know, like, are you ready to get your logo design and stuff. People will try to tell you different things that means no. So, they'll tell you, um, I'll think about it. I'll get back with you. I found someone else. Um, let's see, what was the other one? Um, can I call you back at a later time? And, uh, I think that's it. So, um... If I think of any more, I'll let you know about that. And anyways, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, I mean, that kind of sucks when people tell you no and all that stuff. And to tell you the truth, when you begin in the graphic design business, um, and when you start your own business, it's not that easy. Um, I tried to tell you that before, and, you know, I'll say it again. It's not easy to start your own business, especially when you don't have a job. When you think it's uh, easy and dandy to start your business and get customers do boom, just like that. No. Nah. No. Nah. Unless you're a really good salesman, you're experienced salesman, then yeah, it'll start off good for you. But if you've uh, never been uh, in uh, sales business, then yeah, it's going to be very hard at first. But, you know, once um, you get the, you learn all the types of stuff and you get used to it and you get the grind, you get the motion on all that stuff, then yeah, you'll get more customers that way. And, uh, the way you can get more customers, unlike, um, unlike the coronavirus out there when everything's growing everything off, you know, of course, you can, you know, uh, drop prices down a little bit. You know, that you can get more customers that way because, you know why, like, people really don't have jobs right now. Like, people are getting less money like they're supposed to. So, because of this coronavirus, people are getting paid less, you know. People are working for free and people are getting help. People are getting uh, financial aid. People are getting, you know, other kinds of assistance, you know, to get by. Because, you know, right now, this is not very look good for us. And many people are dying that way. So, um, yeah. So, and um, anyways, like I said, um, between fake graphic designers and real graphic designers, um, you can go to the fake graphic designers page and you can see that they created their page like three days ago, something like that. You know, that you said um, they haven't... Um, been around in other years like say for five years four years even two years or even one year you can say they just create this page they can uh say you know i'm experienced in five years just do your research folks i mean people do research on me all the time and you know they find out i'm legit i do great work i mean you can uh go out go on my page right now on instagram you know people been commenting people been giving me good reviews i mean yeah i mean 
I mean, uh, some people don't like my work. I mean, that's okay. Not everybody's going to like your work, okay? People can, people can be picky. You'll get haters. Like, I mean, to me, I think, um, you know, I haven't got haters yet, but I think I'll be getting some haters soon, or I may have got haters. I don't know, because, you know, I've been hearing, like, you know, people have been reporting my posts. Um, that's why I've been uh, constantly been in Facebook jail for, like, 30. The longest I've been in Facebook jail is, like, 30, uh, four months because, you know, I've been posting a lot, trying to promote my business. So, I think I got a lot of haters from people that don't like my posts. So, it is what it is, but, um, so, um, another thing that, you know, I've been absent for so long on my videos posting on YouTube is because, you know, um, I've been, uh, really busy, obviously, trying to fill up these people's order. I did not have time, you know, to make a video, and people been asking me, where's my program Friday? I told them, I, I'll get to you in a minute. I've been, uh, you know, been busy. You're not the only one. I mean, you know, I know how you, some, a lot of y'all graphic designers feel about this year, you know, scammers, you know, people rushing, people constantly asking, I mean, this is the reason, you know, I haven't been doing my guidelines for this month. Um, I promised that I was going to do it um, on August the 1st, release it. But, you know, it, I've been so caught up. I mean, I've been so overwhelmed with doing all this work and all this stuff that I didn't, never had the time to do it. But, you know, hopefully today when I find the time to, you know, settle down, let this work die down a little bit, you know. Of course, I'm still getting business, by the way. Then, you know, I can start working on this project, you know. And I can, you know, hopefully get it out by the end of this year. So, I'm sorry that, you know, I uh, hope y'all hoping for the guidelines. But, you know, I'm just trying to, trying to you know, talk to y'all and tell y'all that I am a legit graphic designer. Um, you can tell apart from these fake graphic designers, you know. You know, and then these fake graphic designers can even can steal people's work also so um like i said if i see any of my work on other graphic designers page or if y'all see any of your work <coughs> on other graphic designers page you ought to <coughs> i'm sorry you ought to be upset just like me right you're like really like seriously this has not been a good year for us i mean people been stealing you other people's work really i mean come on i mean like seriously I mean, stop that, really. I mean, we've been working too hard, too long, not to get tarnished like that. So, yeah, so, um, I think that's all the topics I'm going to talk about today. I really want to talk to y'all to let y'all know what's going on, um, like, you know, the real legit graphic designers can, like I said, they have lots of experience, you know, you can go on their page, do your little, do your, do some research where you start, you know, talking crap about us, really, I mean, like you can go on your um our pages, you know, <clears throat> you we can um you can look at us and we, I'm dating back uh, years of experience. You can go on the other graphic designers page. You can uh, date back uh, lots of experience from these graphic designers. I mean, they do a really good work, but you know, if you um uh, if a graphic designer messages you and you know just do your research before you even pay them, like um. If you see them that, you know, they just created a page a few days ago, then, you know, just don't, don't, just don't F with them, period. Like, seriously. Okay? Like, yeah, they'll just take your money, they'll block you, and, you know, that's going to be a huge loss, right? Alright. But, you know, uh, legit graphic designers can do that, too, but, you know, I mean, I never did it before, but, you know, like, um, unless you see, you know, I mean, the way you can tell this is a bad graphic design that you know they don't communicate really you, you can tell by you know people give bad reviews and all that stuff uh, lots of bad reviews at that you know lots of screenshots you know not communicating yeah so yeah this is very hard for us and I'm just very stressful of talking about it but anyway um I think that's all the topic that I'm going to talk about today but you know tune in uh, next time for another newscast <coughs> That's clearing my throat. Tune in next time. Tune in next time for another newscast, and I'll see y'all next time. All right, everybody. I'm Jerome Harden, founder and graphic designer, of Jerome Harden Studios. I'm out. Peace.